Absolutely. And I, I live with them too. So uh, I've seen that growth firsthand. Um, and, you know, I think not only just Brandon, but I think every, all of us needed, you know, to be more, be more vocal, um, you know, communicate more, whether it's in workouts or, or on the field. But, you know, Brandon in particular, he's, he's embraced it. You know, he hasn't, he hasn't took it as, you know, a shot at him as a person. Um, you know, he realized that, you know, he needed to communicate more, communicate better as, as a quarterback, and that's been something that he's been trying to work on. Um, and I think he's gotten a lot better at it. You said the team as a whole is trying to be more vocal. Is that something Peterson's embracing, dealing with the rest of the staff? Well, it all, it all starts with Coach B. Um, you know, the, the, where, where this program's going, you know, where he's, ter- where he's trying to take us, it all starts with him. And then, you know, he has a coaching staff that, that knows that exact point. And then they, they work it down to us. And then, you know, as leaders on the team, we try to do it. But, you know, communication is a massive thing in the game of football. You know, uh, whether it's a center and a guard, uh, whether it's quarterback and an O-line, you know, communication is key. If you can't communicate, you can't be a leader. Um, and really, it affects you on the field. Appreciate it. It's definitely crazy to look back on and think of, you know, when we were, you know, my redshirt year, Vidarian and Palcho weren't even here. Um, and then that redshirt freshman year, both of them came in. And, you know, I think we've really seen each other grow up firsthand. Like, talking about Vidarian, you know, his story is unbelievable. Like, I have, I have no idea how he does it. Um, and that's something that inspires me. You know, Palcho going through injuries right now, you know, once again, I don't know how he does it. I haven't been through a major surgery like that, knock on wood, but, you know, those types of guys inspire me, being around them every single day. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, that's why I'm so thankful for being back because, you know, I get to spend more time with those guys. And then, you just asked about Brandon. I don't know if he's been around him, but Brandon Sikowski, you got him on a kind of field on so far. You keep him up to the team. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been around Art a little bit. Um, obviously, he just got in. We've had the, we've had the summer to kind of work, uh, and we'll definitely see more from him in, in fall camp for sure when we're all around each other. Um, but, yeah, I think Art's, you know, he's great. Coach Bielma brought him in, so you know what type of guy you're going to get with him. Um, also, he's got Big Ten experience. You know, we play. I think we've played against him before, um, so that's interesting. But... Obviously, you know, he's a great guy, great teammate, and, you know, he's someone who works extremely hard. And I think, you know, he sees the game really well. Um, you know, he's a very smart player. You know, I, I was sitting in a meeting with, or uh, just a meeting room, talking about football the other the other week with him, and, you know, he's very smart about the game of football, so. Doug, uh, you being one of the 22 super seniors on the Illinois team this year, what's that say about Coach B and you know having all you guys come back, wanting to play one more year, buying into the system? Yeah, I think it just shows that you know Coach B always talks about family, um, and you see a lot of people around the country talk about family, but I think it shows that you know we are a true family. You know, we we have that many guys come back. Um, you know, we have that many guys buy into the system. You know, it's it's not just it's not just words. That's something that we truly believe in, and, and as the super seniors, that that's something that really matters to us. You have a lot of uh, offensive linemen coming back this year. Kendrick obviously you know, was drafted by the Steelers and yep. is going to play in the NFL. Who do you think is going to jump into that guard spot, or is that too early to tell right now? Uh, I think it's too early to tell. I think obviously you got guys that that are competing for the job, um, and. You know, it's it's a good issue for Coach B, Coach Miller, and Coach Peterson to have is, you know, you got guys that, a lot of guys that have experience playing at different levels of college football, and you know, you got guys who are willing to compete and go hard, and you know, that's a good problem to have, especially for offensive linemen. It's important to have depth, um, and it's important to have you know good people who are willing to, you know, lay it all on the line for for the team. I know you're talking about family, and you've talked about how offensive line is like a brotherhood. Family's kind of been like the recruiting strategy. Can you just talk about like what family means to you and why it's such an important part of your, both your position just as a in, in the team in general? Yeah. Well, offensive line is predicated around you know the brotherhood. It's five. It's five people. 
um, whose sole job is to protect for other people on the field. And if one person has a bad game, then all five of you are going to have a bad game. Um, so you're really relying, you're trusting on the, on the guys next to you to be able to execute, you know, what the coaches want you to do. And having that, um, I guess, pressure, that added pressure, knowing that, you know, you're relying on other guys, um, that really, that makes a difference off the field as well. That brings you closer together. You know, you, you end up spending a lot of time around each other because you want to be able to trust them. And that's, that's a massive part of offensive line play. What's been the biggest change since, for the last seven, eight months since Brett Bielema took the job? Um, I would say the biggest change would probably be, obviously, he's the people he's bringing in. You know, his his general philosophy about the game of football. You know, I I talked earlier about how, you know, the moment that um, the moment he came in in the first meeting, I was learning something new about the game. Um, so just. Obviously, he's got a ton of knowledge about the game of football that he's spreading to our entire team, um, but also just the mentality it takes to play the game. You know, he's coached some of the best offensive linemen ever, did, did Joe Thomas. So, um, you know, I mean, that's that's experience that no other coach has. Um, 